So we'll get started then. So thank you everyone for joining us this evening, wherever you might be in the world. Um, we are here to present to you Vattel Group. Um, it's a hotel and tourism business school. And tonight's, oops, this isn't working. And tonight's theme is everything you need to know about Vattel Switzerland in particular. So before we get started on the presentation, we're just going to introduce ourselves. Uh, my name is Aisha. I handle admissions for Vettel Switzerland. Uh, I'm a former MBA student from Vettel Switzerland and uh, my nationalities are American Turkish. So I'm gonna hand it over to Roxanne. So uh, good night, every, good night, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Roxanne. I am a second year student in the bachelor program in the international section at Vettel Switzerland. And uh, yeah, I'm Swiss and uh, I'm 21 years old. Hi everyone. Yeah, no. I'm sorry, sorry, I reckon <laughs> finish after, after that was done. No, 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 it's okay. Go, go. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm still, uh, I finished Vatel um, three to four years ago. Uh, I don't know pretty much when, but it was pretty much that. Uh, and I'm just now working from home for a certain company that you will know about. And I'm happy to share all my experience uh, with you today. It's going to be fun. Super, thank you. So before we get started on the presentation, I'm just going to briefly go over the topics. Um, we are going to talk about professions in the hotel and tourism industry to get you familiarized with different job uh, and career paths you can choose from when you study such a program. We're going to go over some facts and figures of the Vettel group as a whole, if you don't know who Vettel is already. Um, we're going to talk about the bachelor and the MBA programs in detail, go over the semester breakdown. We're going to talk about our 35,000 alumni network, what they're doing, where they're working in the world. And we are going to talk about the enrollment procedure for those that are interested to apply for admissions for next year or the year after. And then we're going to resume our presentation with five good reasons of why you should consider choosing Bechtel Switzerland. So to start off with, um, as you can see on the screen, Vatel is the first worldwide hospitality and tourism management school. Why first worldwide? Because of um, the many, many campuses. We have the most campuses in the world, more uh, than 50 campuses, uh, all spread uh, around like uh, all continents. You can see them. Uh, they are represented by the red dots on the map. Uh, we are a really prestigious group. Uh, we are recognized in uh, many, many countries. We have more than, than 9,000 students around the world studying in our schools. They, rep they represent 55, uh, 56 nationalities and um, we have more than 35,000 alumni uh, all around the world that have already graduated Vattel Switzerland, which can be useful for your future career. Uh, if you're applying for a job anywhere on earth, uh, you are surely going to find someone that graduated Vettel and um, you're going to be able to get in touch with them and uh, help you, uh, help each other uh, in your careers. And um, yeah, last thing, uh, we have more than 35 years of experience in teaching and working in the hospitality and tourism industry. Super. Thank you, Roxanne. So what are the professions in the hotel and tourism industry? Mm -hmm. This is a very good question. So in the hospitality and tourism, uh, in the hospitality sector, you have many jobs. You start internally in, um, in a hotel, you, you do many sectors. Uh, you do as you want to try because it's always a try. Uh, you are multitask, so maybe sometimes as an intern, you will do many different jobs at certain positions as well. And this is how you're going to get uh, your point of view uh, with the hospitality. After that, um, in the hotel industry, you have different sectors. Uh, you have the finance, because I have many friends of mine that left uh, the hospitality now to get to other uh, sectors. And you have all the things getting around the client 
this is something that we learn to use it in the future as a communication, as um, meeting cultures, cultures, sorry. Uh, you speak different languages, you try to communicate with the client uh, as good as possible, and you really build yourself with all those skills. You can work, uh, me, I started uh, as a normal waiter. It was a, a good training, a hard training. Then I wanted to do like kind of a bartender. I learned the drinks and the service. Then I went to banquet. I wanted to learn how the, we do you do an event in a hotel. I really specialized myself in F&B and that was a very, very good experience because you get a lot of knowledge, a lot of data about drinks, food and clients and a very luxurious uh, clients as well. And uh, I really wish you to uh, live this experience. It's good to uh, self-building. Perfect, thank you. I think it's really important um, to know that in the hospitality and tourism industry, it's so vast. We can go in so many different directions with it. I mean, when you stay at a hotel, when you enter a hotel, you see all that's operational. You see the front office, you see the concierge, you see the food and beverage department, you see housekeeping, but there's a lot of things that you don't see that are back office. So that's what we would like to present to you tonight, that there's a lot of things that are, that are happening behind scenes that you don't necessarily see. And that's what we wanna to talk to you about because there's so many opportunities in marketing and finance and human resources, communications, everything to do with social media, uh, print, digital, uh, events management, um, and even doing your own startup. So we just want to communicate to you that it's super vast and we can go in so many different directions with it. So. That's the beauty of the, uh, of the sector. I saw somebody raised their hand. Um, if you have any questions, you can write in the Q&A uh, portion of, the, uh, of Zoom and we'll be happy to answer your questions. And you're completely right, uh, Aisha. You, know, you can choose a path with the sector within the hotel and you can finish in a completely other one a few years later. So. An experience is not a regret, just like make you stronger and have a better point of view of the whole system and hospitality uh, market, and you will get uh, stronger with time, that's for sure. So what are the advantages of working in these professions? So as I said, uh, as you sell uh, stuff, as you sell in reservation, as you sell in digital the product, the hotel, what you're gonna do for the clients, um, all the things that are around and you usually you work for big, big companies. So you so like Four Seasons, uh, Ritz Carlton, these companies that you can see all around the world. So of course, they have a good uh, passion for uh, um, ideology in the hotel. They want them to think the same way. It's very good values. And sometimes they just want to uh, take people and make them work in other hotels in other countries. This is for just an example with a uh, uh, a group hotel that do it, but this time you built, so your behavior in front of the direction, you have the GM in, in front of the customers. So you see how you can do, how you behave with people, how you sell, how your body gonna talk at that time, all the non-verbal stuff that you will learn with the time and with big clients that you have to respect with cultures and traditions. As well, of course, uh, to, uh, different places and then uh, you're gonna, a path in the hospitality, then you're gonna get stronger with a certain point, and you're gonna to get to this point, and few and few times after, you're gonna maybe or not as you wish uh, leave the hospitality for something stronger and uh, more uh, corporate. As reservation uh, starting corporate, you will have a real corporate life because hospitality, hospitality time and sector takes a lot of your life. Be with time, waking up early, but very rich in terms of knowledge and all life. Because in the hotel, you're in the center of the life. And at the end, you have a very well knowledge about human communication. So, just to also reiterate what Cyril is explaining, um, advantages that you will also have working in these professions if you're somebody that likes to travel, discover cultures and countries you'll have the opportunity to do that in this uh, profession. For example, if you work within um, a chain 
and they have different job opportunities in different countries within that within that group. You can travel, uh, you can change countries, um, especially if you work in, or if you work in sales, uh, you'll have to go and to different markets. Um, so that gives you the opportunity to travel if that's something you like to do. Uh, you also will get the ability to learn different languages. If you're somebody that likes to communicate in English and French and Spanish, uh, learning a new language is also a possibility. We learn four different languages. Well, we have the option of four different languages at school. Mm -hmm. Students take two languages. So we have the options between Chinese, Spanish, and German, as well as French. Um, so this you will get the opportunity to use if you work in this profession as well. Human relations, you'll meet so many people uh, you will develop your network, which will bring you to your next job opportunity and your next job opportunity. Um, so all the people that you meet in this, this network that you will be building from the day that you arrive at school. Um, career opportunities within this industry in the sense that it's an industry where we can get promoted quite quickly. We can get, for example, we can start as an agent or an assistant and in a few months time to a year, we can already be promoted to an executive level position. So it's an industry where we can augment in our um, in our position quite quickly. Um, in terms of the economy, um, despite the hiccup that we're going through right now, it is uh, an industry that is booming worldwide. Um, it will grow after uh, the pandemic um, calms down. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of economy, here on this chart, as you can see one out of 10 people you meet will be working in the tourism and hospitality sector. There's 274 billion jobs worldwide in the tourism industry. And as you can see, these predictions uh, had taken place before the pandemic, um, these estimations. But as we can see um, in the next decade, um, after the pandemic you know, comes to an end, it will continue to increase again. So what does that mean? That means that there's gonna be an ample amount of job opportunities. Uh, there's gonna be more um, hotel and tourism development in other countries, and there's gonna be a need for skilled labor. So that means that when you finish your studies, so let's say you start next year and in three years time, the time that you finish your studies uh, and the pandemic is over, hopefully, uh, you will have an ample amount of job opportunities um, at your disposal. For sure. So in terms of the bachelor program, um, this is accessible for anyone that's finishing high school, whether you've studied an IB, a French baccalaureate, have done A-levels, you can access the bachelor degree, which is a three-year program. You will obtain a double degree. You'll have the Swiss recognition as well as the French uh, diploma. Um, and you also earn ECTS credits. These are European credits that are transferable internationally to another school if you decide and choose to study uh, a master of science or simply change the school midway uh, through your studies. Now the MBA is for anyone that wants to go a little bit further after the bachelor. It's an, an, addition, uh, an additional year and a half and you can either do it with studying a bachelor at Bechtel or another at another university. So in terms of the bachelor and the semester breakdown, I'm gonna hand it over to Roxanne, who's gonna explain this to you and what she's learning. So uh, you can see that the bachelor, so it lasts for three years. Uh, the first two years are equally, equally separated um, in two blocks. So you're gonna first arrive at school and uh, have your first six months on campus. And you're gonna switch between theoretical weeks and practical weeks. Um, so that's going to last for six months and you're going to learn uh, stuff that you will be able to apply um, during uh, our practical uh, weeks uh, at the application hotel, four star hotel, uh, just next to uh, the school. And uh, after those six months, you're going to um, uh, look for an internship that you will have to do uh, in Switzerland and in service, not for you to become a waiter or anything like that, just uh, to familiarize you with uh, the whole service industry and show you what uh, happens also uh, in the like uh, low levels uh, of the of a hotel. So uh, in order to like find your internship, you're going to be helped uh, by our um, um, 
yeah, our teacher, our responsible, uh, who is called uh, Mr. Kuhlman. And he's going to help you uh, creating your CV and uh, he's going to coach you for uh, your interviews, give you some tips, find you also um, the best hotel for you to do your six month internship. And so once you are done with your first internship, you come back to school and do again a six month of theoretical and practical weeks. Uh, that you, you are always going to switch uh, between the two and uh, in second year you're going to get more responsibilities you will have to um, coach the first years and uh, you will do like um, yeah you're just going to evolve in the hierarchy of the hotel and your second internship uh, you will be able to do it abroad and uh, in any sector you would like to discover so not uh, it's not mandatory to do it in service you can discover HR uh, sales and marketing reception anything you'd like and so once you're done um you're gonna come back to school sorry <coughs> for your uh, third year you're gonna get a little less uh, theoretic uh, no a little more theoretical weeks and less practical and because uh, it's gonna last like eight months this time and uh, you will also have to do your capstone project but Cyril is going to talk a bit more about it um, later in the presentation. And then you will be able to do um, a third uh, internship, whether or not you'd like, or um, once you've got your bachelor degree, just uh, look for uh, your first job. Just for you to uh, get a bit more familiar um, with the um, things you're going to learn in theoretical and uh, where you're going to work in the hotel. So in the theoretical weeks, you will have courses of marketing, finance, human resources, negotiation, and also intercultural management because you are going to evolve in um, an international like um, environment with all the nationalities and students coming uh, from all over the world. But you will also have some more related uh, courses like um, wines or nutrition that are yeah, more linked to hospitality and the service industry. And during your practical, you're going to discover all the, um, the segments or all the departments of the hotel, such as the bar, the banquet, the kitchen, but also housekeeping, cost control, and many others. Great. Thank you, Roxanne. And yeah. So I'm sure you recognize um, most of the brands that are on the right of the screen now. And um, yeah, so these brands come to school, uh, they do uh, some presentations, they hire also students uh, for internship or for uh, real jobs after they graduate. And um, we have many students that are currently working in those brands and with those brands. And um, yeah, I mean, they're really well known and international and uh, you can see that uh, you have many different choices and opportunities once uh, you graduate. Perfect, thank you. So as Roxanne was mentioning uh, before, we have a career counselor on campus, uh, Mr. Kuhlman. He will assist you from the day that you arrived uh, to school on your CV, preparing you for interviews. Uh, he will find you your first interview, the first internship he finds for you as well, he assists you. He, ma he maintains all the relationships we have with the different brands uh, listed here and many, many more. But this is just to give you a taste of who we're working with. And I'm sure, as Roxanne mentioned, that you may have stayed in some of these hotels or you might recognize some of these brands. So the Marco Polo program, this is um, Vattel's, uh, Vattel Group's um, exchange program. It's offered to students in year two of the bachelor program. So as we mentioned previously, uh, there are 50 campuses in 31 different countries. Um, so this provides a student the option to study at another campus in year two. Um, you can discover a new class, a new culture, a new language um, in your second year. So uh, this year, Roxanne, as you're in year two, do you have any students that have come from another Vattel school? Yes, um, I've got one Marco Polo that comes from Mauritius. And uh, we uh, also had uh, students from uh, Vietnam that uh, wanted to come, but since like um, 
the whole pandemic and everything, we couldn't work. But just we've got uh, a student uh, from Mauritius, and we also have a direct entry from uh, students that uh, did his first year in uh, Buenos Aires. Okay, super. And when you have new students come to your class, does it change the class dynamics? How are projects, um, presentations? Um, I mean, uh, of course it changes, but it changes it in an interesting way. Uh, you get to learn like what they did uh, during their first year, uh, which experience they gathered um, during like their first year uh, of Vatel. And uh, it's really uh, rich because you, you can exchange about many things and I think it's a, it's a positive aspect and it, yeah, it's good for the class and it changes like the whole dynamic. Super, thank you. Um, so we have a question here from Anna. She's asking, are there any jobs, societies and sports available on campus? So I guess I will answer this. <laughs> Um, we have a group called Student Life. They organize activities and sports for students. Um, they also will provide information for um, any jobs or extras. If you wanna take a part-time job or do an extra on a weekend, um, they do have more information about this and they post regularly, um, I believe on Facebook. They have a Facebook group. And we also have, uh, there is a president and a vice president um, who will answer questions directly that you can email. And if you have more questions on that, um, I would be happy to put you in touch with someone from the Student Life Active presentation. Yeah, the Student Life do a lot uh, for the campus. I was a part of the um, uh, student uh, 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 like life. <laughs> so um, yeah, we've done like little projects that was anything. Sometimes we just wanted to do like some sandwiches, like kind of a pop-up store for sandwiches, like a surprise for students because they go, they went directly to the cafeteria sometimes, just like not thinking that they have other options around uh, because we are in nature. That's good, a good point for the uh, COVID-19 as well, not be next to a big city. They have all nature around to have to do many activities uh, outdoor. And uh, it was very nice to uh, create because uh, the director, and Mr. Defalc and many other people from the academic sector were allow, allowed us to do many projects, uh, many events, many parties, uh, even the one at the end of the year, the most important one for, for some people. So it was very a real pleasure to do in a, to do the student life and have a life around in Battle. It was very nice to do. Very nice. And Anna, if you want more information about student life and activities, uh, feel free to contact me um, after the presentation. Oh, we have another question. Oops. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so capstone project. Capstone project. Okay, capstone project, it's the third year you have been around, you went to different hotels or companies, you looked at some sectors, finance, HR, uh, even the food and beverage, that was my case. Um, and now it's your time to create, if I, if I can say your little baby, because you want to do a concept, you want to ally yourself with people that had other knowledges as well. Sometimes it's a bit politic as well because you need to get a good, a good team, you know? So you have to be smart about what you, you, what you can build, who you can build it, and what would be the purpose. Of course, we need a concept that is um, um, in relation with the economical situation now, with the trends, with the taste, with everything that, can, like that, that any client can need. We have to, uh, to look for a need. I like it because you have presentation in front of the all the um, teachers so you have a bit like a shark tank you know just around to sell your product and this is good okay you the good aspect is you do a bit less uh you know theoretical because you're just working more on classes but it's very interesting at this point to prove yourself what you can build and now we are preparing you to just leave the student world and see what could be a real concept and where you can go and how to work with other people it's going to be kind of a test for you uh, to see how you work with people, how you communicate with people, all the things that you learned in the hospitality along your three years. And uh, it's always, 
it's always you no know, when you do your logo or you do your like uh, product around just to sell your product as you put everything um, aligned just to make it work you're very happy about your project yeah i was very happy and uh, i wanted to do uh, me i wanted to do like a vr experience for our wine tasting i wanted to uh, just like uh, work with the um, pictures and the brain uh, just to make a, a wine taste more interesting and uh, interactive and uh, get more information. So I wish you to have a better idea, of course. And uh, but this is very, very interesting. And I really wish you to do that. A very good experience. Thank you for sharing, Cyril. So the Capstone Project is a business plan that you put together in the third year of your uh, bachelor program, so at the end. And you will use everything and apply everything that you've learned in the past three years into this project, focusing on three main areas where you will be judged um, in marketing, finance, and human resources. You will do a presentation in front of a jury and you will hand in a written report. Um, we have had students take their project live. We've had a student past uh, a group of students three years ago sell their project to a company for 10,000 euros. Um, so this is something that we can put into reality, into real terms, which is really rewarding. So you can see that everything that you learn uh, in your business courses, you can apply it into a real life business plan. So here, as I mentioned previously, for those that want to go beyond uh, a bachelor uh, degree after they finish, we have the MBA program. This is what I did uh, after my bachelor's. Uh, we have three, um, 11 different specializations within Vattel Group. Um, so the specialization that we focus on in Switzerland is in finance and project development. And this is really geared towards anyone that wants to go um, more into a, into more into something with, to deal with finance uh, or to deal with project development or wants to become a financial director or advisor, wants to go into a startup or an entrepreneurship. This is something that uh, would be of interest for someone that wants to pursue this. If, if you want more information about the MBA project and more details about the modules and the seminars, I would be happy to provide you more information with that after the presentation. So in terms of enrollment, um, you need to fill in the application form that you can download online, or you can ask the admissions department via email uh, to have it sent to you via PDF. And you will, need to, um, you will need to join your transcripts, so your high school degrees with the application form and send a motivation letter. Once we receive your documents and they've been analyzed, you'll be selected to pass an entrance exam. Um, I can give you more information about the entrance exam. Um, so we have a few sessions um, scheduled during the academic year. And this year, it'll be a little bit different because we have the entrance exam online um, and it will be followed with a Skype interview with the academic dean. Once you pass the interview and the entrance exam, you will receive your results of whether or not you've been admitted into the program within a week's time. Now, the best time to enroll is now. We are in the period of where you should be considering of where you would like to do your studies next year. So we, um, we are accepting applications as of now for 2021, just until April. After April, it will be more difficult to apply for the next intake in August. So in terms of our alumni network, I'm going to hand it over to Cyril, who's going to talk a little bit more about our network here. Yeah, so, so I see many friends all around the world. I see many pictures, many people that I know. Uh, alumni, it could be uh, in one country internally, or it could be worldwide, because of course you work and you educate yourself in Vatel altogether at first. Then you can get different ways, different countries, different experiences. And this is like the rich part of Atel. This is what we get. We are all around the world with all the chains, all different schools in the, 
different countries, but of course we have people working as well all around because as we have a school in Switzerland, uh, we work in Switzerland after it, it should be the same uh, or it may be changed, but it would be the same for other schools. You work around, build your experience and then go to another country and meet someone. And the alumni, it's as well some meetings. We uh, meet up uh, on some nice places, nice hotels or lounge. Uh, this is where we can see each other. We can uh, just exchange our point of view about any, anything, the world, uh, even the sector. Uh, which hotel is going to open? The, which hotel is going to buy the other one? Uh, this is always interesting. Uh, on those meetings, you can encounter your future love. You can encounter uh, maybe a future partner for your future businesses. You or see just old friends that you were, were not able to see because you had uh, such a life going on that I wish you, of course. But uh, alumni is like where all your time in Vatel is working for you. Because everything will get back to you. If you have the smartness to exchange, you are doing for you 50% of the way uh, doing events with it. And the rest is just you to go along people, share and see what you can do. Sometimes there's some work in hotels so they can tell you if they're looking for someone. And this is a very good, uh, great opportunity to exchange. You really get very interesting information. Thank you, Cyril. So we have a question from Emma. She's asking about the admissions in second year of the MBA program. She's currently in Va another Vattel school. So Emma, um, concerning uh, the specialization, if you're interested, I would be more than happy to give you more information about that. Um, after the presentation, I can explain to you the modules, the seminars and the workshops that you will be doing in the final uh, specialization, the final semester. And uh, in terms of admissions, you need to um, inform the Vattel that you're currently studying in that you would like to do the specialization in Switzerland and they will transfer your, do your dossier um, when the time is, uh, when the time is right, I would suppose around uh, next year, sometime in the spring, they should transfer your dossier and then it's, you just come and do the specialization. So you will receive the contract and so forth. But I can talk to you more in detail about the procedure for that, as well as the modules for the, the program after the presentation. So concerning the alumni network, as you can see what Cyril was explaining, um, we have students working all over the globe uh, in a lot of various different functions we have from sales to marketing. We have some even working for the direct uh, competitor, competitor of the hospitality sector, which is Airbnb. Um, we have also somebody working in luxury uh, gourmet products in Petrosian. Uh, we have some students that went into banking, that went into working for marketing agencies, recruitment agencies. Um, so it's not just li limited to uh, the hotel industry. We can branch out into other industries because it is a very sought out profile by a lot of different employers. Um, so keep that in mind that when you start here, you can build up your your experiences, your portfolio, uh, your CV, and you can branch out into a different type of uh, company, international company um, afterwards. So this is not working. Oh, there we go. So I'm gonna hand it back over to Cyril, who's gonna talk a little bit more about his experiences. So um, let me start um, from the beginning. Um, I've done three internship. As uh, you know, you can have two done. The third one is if you want to do it or not. I kept it, all, uh, all of it, I kept it in um, food and beverage. I wanted to learn about product, food, uh, drinks, how to sell it, what type of clients. I uh, really wanted to, to be a good salesperson. So I went up with that. When I finished Vattel, I thought that I was ready to do a direct like manager, manager position uh, with responsibilities and everything, but no one would hire me because you're still a student and you still have done just internships. So this is the time when you still have to build yourself. And of course, it's gonna come very, very fast. You just have to give to receive. Me, I worked so as a waiter when I finished Vattel, but it was a waiter in a 
300 uh, uh, covers per night with the seafood, with all the knowledge that you have to know. It was very, very complicated. The menu was huge, 50 dishes, uh, 12 uh, suggestions uh, with all the, the wine that was a nightmare at the beginning, but afterwards with some training, it was uh, way better. And uh, when you keep, you get control of your work, you're happy of yourself. Then me, I went back to my first internship that was at the Royal in Switzerland. They hired me as an assistant manager because my internship went well. So that was my first opportunity as a kind of a manager. I'm very, like, I'm very uh, closing. Um, now, after I've done um, a restaurant manager, so I went up. In three years, I went three steps. I've done assistant manager, manager, and then banquet manager. So it was more events. I've done, I worked for the Casino de Montreux. It was very, very interesting to have huge, huge banquets that you have to organize. Uh, there, were, there were like a thousand people banquet. It's not nothing, it's pretty huge. And you're happy when you organize such stuff, you're building your uh, CV. And um, afterwards I went into the aviation. I'm selling flights, I'm selling private jets flights all around the world, um, this is a new sector. I, was, I never knew that I'm gonna be in this sector. I'm very happy to be in it. Uh, I'm using everything that I learned in the hospitality in my internships. Um, you know, when you start Mattel, you have an idea. Sometimes it fades away. Sometimes you keep this idea. But me, I was like just getting experience and getting experience. And now today I'm good because I'm working in a sector that uh, is more popular with the COVID-19, of course. People don't want to travel in 200 aircraft, but of course uh, it's not the same price. But now I'm very happy because I'm in a new sector and the hospitality helped me to be really like someone with a better negotiation, a better advisor, because you advise things to people, you have to go forward for the clients. And this is why I, how I worked on myself, how to behave with people, the big uh, GM of big companies that I have to have over the phone, tell him, you take my option, it's the good one, because, because, and because. And uh, this is how you grew as a person. And I'm sure that is just the beginning for me and for you as well. I'm sure that you can think about what you want to do. You can think about what you will do, but it's a human experience and there's, you're going to get a lot of knowledge, knowledge from the human experience and from all the data that you have to sell because hospitality, if you want to be a salesman, as me, <laughs> because I sell like bigger and bigger products. It was a bottle at the beginning, now it's more an aircraft. And um, you have a good, good, very good option to uh, use hospitality to get there. This so is what I've done. I'm very happy about what, uh, what I've done. And I would be happy to answer your questions if you want to know more details, of course. Super. Thank you for sharing. And just to resume our presentation for this evening, to give you yeah. some. So if you're still not convinced after all these great and uh, inspiring stories, I'm gonna give you five more good reasons you, choo you should choose Battle Switzerland over uh, any other school. So first of all, uh, well, we already talked about it. You will get a double degree recognized in Switzerland as well as in France. And uh, on top of that, you will um, have those ECTS credits that are also recognized in many uh, countries if you want to um, continue your studies, um, maybe for a master or do something else abroad. Um, you have this alternance between practical and theoretical courses, which um, gives another dynamic to your studies if you're not uh, like a too much studying person and you would like to have uh, some challenges and some different rhythms in your life, that's great because every week you get uh, different schedules and uh, different things to do. And um, I find it really, really interesting. So yeah, go for it. <laughs> and um, so you've got the hotel and restaurant at Vatel. Uh, they, we host like real guests and patrons. So it gives you the opportunity to practice with real people i mean like not to just like um fake uh, play roles like in many other schools um you we have an international campus so you 
uh, live with uh, many people that come from different uh, countries that uh, have different cultures and it allows you to exchange a lot and uh, enrich like uh, your knowledge and your environment and uh, we also have this worldwide network we already talked about so uh, you're almost sure to find uh, someone that uh, did a vatel uh, anywhere you go or uh, you look for a job and just for you to um uh, no, uh, we are currently renovating uh, the hotel and the restaurant. So on the top row, you can see the finished uh, restaurant. We renovated like one or two years ago. So um, it's where uh, we learn and uh, we serve our patrons. And on the bottom row, you have an overview of uh, the new rooms we are currently renovating and that will be uh, finished by the end of the year or maybe uh, early um, 2021. So yeah, we hope to see you soon. And uh, I hope these five reasons like convinced you. <laughs> <laughs> Super, thank you, Roxanne. And we are lucky about one thing as well, uh, Asia. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like we are part of the IDAP uh, research, uh, you know. Oh yeah, uh, we have, yep. For me, I, I had the opportunity to be part of the innovative, uh, you know, like a contest. No, you you uh, you can just like uh, build a team to uh, get into a real like challenge like uh, technology challenge. Um, this is a real known uh, research center. Didiap. It went uh, on uh, on the match I think a few two days ago. We see they were known um, worldwide for I think bionic bionicals. Bionic, yeah, bionic, yeah. Um, so Idiap actually. The way our building is situated, if you go on our website, you can do a 360 degree tour of the of the campus. And on our campus, we have the hotel. And on the other side of the, the campus is the school part. And in the school part of the, the establishment, we have EDAP, which is a super intelligence um, uh, company that also shares that part of the building a few floors up. They have some offices. And they basically do robotics, uh, super intelligence for different industries. And we, uh, Vatel, collaborate with them at, at times on different projects because uh, technology is continuing to advance. Um, and we see more and more robots being used for certain, certain tasks now. Um, I know that when I went to Asia, specifically Singapore, uh, South Korea, Taiwan, they use a lot of robots in the, in the hotels. Um, the check-in, check-out is done by robots for um, bringing up certain amenities to the rooms. If you need towels replenished, uh, shampoo, et cetera, replenished, it's done by robots. It's not done by humans anymore because that alleviates them from certain tasks where they can refocus their efforts on other things. So they delegate certain simple tasks to the robots where they can be freed up to do, uh, focus on other things that they need to, to get done. Um, so yeah, so we work with EDAP and uh, it's interesting because they collaborate with us and this is something that we need to continue to, to work on and innovation and evolve with the industry. So thank you for bringing that up, that was a good point. Yeah, of course, they, they create some startups there. They're very smart. <laughs> so thank you so much everyone for joining us this evening. Um, we now leave it up to you. If you have any questions, you can ask us. Uh, you can just type into the Q&A. So uh, Roxanne, I wanted to ask you actually, um, did you take accommodation with Bechtel Switzerland or did you take off campus housing? So um, I'm, as I said uh, in the beginning, I'm a second year student. So uh, now I took my own accommodation with some of my um, my friends that are in the same class. But last year, I decided to take a, a room on campus because I thought it would be better for my integration. And just like, you know, with the practical, sometimes you've got to wake up early or you finish late. So I was just thinking it would be more uh, comfortable for me to spend my first uh, year 
uh, on the campus and uh, I don't regret, regret my choice. It was really, really fun. Uh, you get to know each, uh, each other and uh, you also can organize like many things after schools or during your free time. And uh, you really get close to your uh, classmates and the other students. It's like a real family and yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so we have a question from Emma. She's asking, what's the difference between Bethel, Martini and Geneva? Okay, so Geneva, we um, had decided last year to extend the campus and put the MBA in Geneva. Now with the pandemic, we put that project idea on a halt. So we will be having the next intake uh, for the specialization um, on the Martini campus, which is good because with the Martini campus, we have all our resources there. We have all the teachers, uh, the staff, the faculty, everyone is there. Um, you'll be also mingling with students from other, other sections, other classes, um, whereas Geneva, it's not fully, um, fully finished yet. And um, in the Geneva campus, which we plan to open in 2022, it will just be the MBA there. So you'll have your teachers come for the lectures, um, but you won't have that interaction that you'll get with students from first, second, third year. And so the next question, are there any scholarships available or do you provide any kind of financial aid? So we don't unfortunately have any scholarships or financial aid. However, we do have students that do extras um, and part-time jobs after work. It is possible to do. Um, also, maybe we didn't mention this, but during the internships that you do in second semester of each year, they're paid internships. Um, keep in mind that Switzerland is the first country where you'll do your first internship and you make 2000 euros a month for your internship work. And this can contribute to paying a portion of your studies um, for the second year at least. Also, we can set up uh, payment methods um, as well. How many people can integrate Vettel Switzerland? Okay, so we have 300 students at the Vettel Switzerland campus. Um, and we have about 100 students who join us each year, new students for first year. Um, we like to keep it small because uh, it's important, especially for the practical. We are working with real guests. It's important to have, provide a quality service. And if the classes are too big, uh, the students will not be able to learn thoroughly their tasks during practical and the guests will not be getting their full experience when they're coming to visit. So it's really important that we that we don't enlarge our classes more than that. And that's why uh, our campus remains quite small um, because we really like to have a tailored made uh, educational experience for each student in class and in practical. But we are a small campus, a small family oriented campus, part of a very big group. Okay, next question. As I am looking for a school with ECTS credits in Switzerland, in my short list, the three schools left are Vettel, IMI in Lucerne and EHL. My question might be a bit controversial, but what would be your main point to say that Vettel is the best option? Well, I have to say that Switzerland in general is very prestigious worldwide for hospitality schools. Um, if you look, the top ranked schools uh, are in Switzerland. Um, I can't talk badly about any of the schools. I think they're all really great, but I will say that Vattel, the advantage we have at Vattel is the fact that there's so many campuses worldwide. You have the option of doing the exchange program in the choice of 50 different campuses in 31 countries. And we are the only Swiss hospitality school with a four-star hotel on campus open to guests. So a lot of the other hotel schools that you would study in, they do simulation uh, weeks. So it's role play like Roxanne mentioned before. Whereas when you're doing uh, practical weeks at our school, you're exposed in real situations, working with real guests, being hands-on from day one that you arrive. 
that yeah, really you... prepares, that really pre prepares you for your internship also. Sorry, Siri. No, no, of course, to me, I've met uh, many uh, more Italians in my, in my life in different uh, maybe uh, jobs, uh, maybe AHL and other school, but more EHL is more um, around the financial way of the hospitality. Uh, the thing is that we are more open about what you can do. Them, they are getting to get through and go focus on finance. This is a good point. But us, we are more like, let's see what you can bring to yourself and then how you can apply it. Me, I choose Vatel because first it was in nature. And now it's more a luxury, a luxury with the current situation to be in nature. And as well to just uh, learn out of a city be connected with my other and my friends now, the other students, the other culture. I learned some Korean and Chinese because I just wanted to say hello or I love you, all the different, uh, of course, uh, mean things that you uh, learned at the beginning. And it was like a way better like experience because it wasn't like, okay, everyone is going home after, uh, everyone is like kind of uh, out of home, you know? Even a Swiss person coming to Vatel in Martini is going to be out of his place. And me, I was going from France and I was out of my country as a new experience. And it was like way better because I was seeing more um, old people around because there were like many, many people from all around the world. And it was like very nice to leave that with them. And of course, you are more open and you can see after at the end what you can do. That's for sure. And like have a better view, overall view. Super. I just have a, a question that someone asked me. The first one okay. was, when can we apply at this passion? What was the first one. When can we apply? Okay, so I mentioned that in the presentation, you can apply for 2021 intake now. Uh, you can apply anywhere from November till April. Um, if you, you can download the application form online on our website, or you can write an email to admissions with an S, admissions at vatel.ch and request um, um, an application be sent to you. Thank we you. have a question here for second MBA year are the fees the half. So uh, the MBA fees are listed in the brochure on page 17. Um, for EU students, the tuition fee is 14,000 Swiss francs per semester. So that's the final semester of the specialization. Uh, if you want to take accommodation and full board, um, that's under optional fees. If you need a copy of the um, brochure, you can download it or I can send it to you on WhatsApp or via email. Okay. Hello, how can I transfer my studies to another and can Vatel with the visa for thank you, I'm answering. Okay. So if you study at another Vatel school, normally Vatel does not allow a transfer. You can do the Marco Polo program in year two. You can request that your application, you can prepare your application. You'll have to pass an interview with the academic department from the other Vatel school. So you can participate in the Marco Polo program. Um, but if you want to do a transfer, you need to have a special reason and you need to look with uh, your academic department and your, your director of your school to see if you would be allowed to transfer your, do your dossier. But normally um, it's unauthorized to, to, to just transfer without reason. So in terms of the admissions exam setup, um, mm -hmm. the admissions exam this year will have the entrance exam online. There will be two modules to complete. They're multiple choice questions. Um, you will have a test, a personality test and a logical test. Um, and you also have a motivation letter to write and a Skype interview to pass with the academic dean. Um, the link to pass the exam uh, will be sent to you because you actually have to come back on Zoom like how we are tonight. And it will either be myself or my colleague will explain you the instructions of how to proceed with the exam. Um, if you want to do the entrance exam, we have two dates set up right now. Um, I can give those dates to you uh, via email. Um, and the to pass the entrance, entrance exam, you must pay 120 Swiss francs. 
but I, I think you're, Sarah, I think you're coming to the open day this weekend. I recognize your name and we can talk more about it in depth um, this weekend, or you can send me an email and I can explain everything to you in detail. You're not gonna give answers. No, no, I'm not giving any answers. <laughs> <laughs> I might maybe uh, answer the, the next question. Is it possible to accommodate students on campus and how uh, to subscribe it? Uh, so as I explained before, yes, it's possible to um, get an accommodation on campus. Actually, uh, you will live uh, in a hotel room. Uh, the first three floors are dedicated for um, two students and the two top floors, so the fourth and the fifth, are uh, reserved for uh, clients. So you have the, op the, op the option sorry, <laughs> to choose uh, either a single room or um, a double room that you will share uh, with uh, one of your classmates or another uh, students from uh, from Vettel. Thank you. So if, okay, Vettel Dossi in April, for, okay, so if you get only the Vettel Dossi in April for an admission in second MBA year, is it not too late? So for somebody like you, Emma, that once that's already in Vettel and that would like to come for the MBA, um, you can send your app, you need to talk to your academic department and they can send the, the application um, anytime in the spring or summer, because you don't need to go through the whole admissions process. You're already internal, you're already part of Vattel. So it will be a lot, the, the process will be a lot shorter for you. If you want to contact me directly, um, you can do so via WhatsApp or email and um, I can explain to you more of the process, but Initially, you need to get in touch with your academic department who needs to then inform our academic department that you would like to do the specialization. Okay, perfect. Do we have any other questions before we end this evening? Uh, okay, so any other questions? All right, perfect. So. Thank you so much, Cyril and Roxanne, for joining us this evening and presenting and sharing your experiences. And thank you to all of our participants this, uh, tonight that came to join us for the presentation. If you have any questions, you can contact me at admissions at vattel.ch or by WhatsApp. My um, information is on the website and it's also, sorry, I just got another question. When is the next Zoom? Okay, so the next Zoom, um, it's listed. I don't have the, the, the date in my head, but we have one Zoom in French and one in English per month. The next one will be in December. You can look at it on the website, batel.ch. That's good, someone like Zoom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so for real this time. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Goodbye. See you soon, Bye. Guys. Bye-bye.